Our big story of the night, 2022 Baseball Hall of Fame class has been announced. Party at one, David Ortiz is the lone inductee. Uh, he got the call on his first time on the ballot. Here is a look at the final voting. You see Ortiz above that 75% threshold at almost 78. Barry Bonds, last year of eligibility, 66. Clemens, 65.2. Chilling down to 58.6. And A-Rod, first year on the ballot, just 34 0.3% and Manny uh, at 28.9%. We're here with uh, Chris Gasper, Lou Maloney, Michael Holly, Michael Felger. Uh, Lou, I'll start with you. Any reaction to David Ortiz? Any surprise that David Ortiz got in as the only inductee? No, I wasn't. I mean, I, you know, you always, you know, 83%, that they could drop. And it did, you know, but I wasn't surprised. I think he's a Hall of Famer. You know, as close as he was, you know, whether it was going to be that year, this year, or next year, he was going to get in. And that's why, you know, this really wasn't about Ortiz to me. It was about Clemens and Bonds. But I'm happy he got in. He's a Hall of Famer. Edgar Martinez, David Ortiz. I mean, two of the greatest DHs, and it's a position in the sport they deserve. Chris, if I asked you, are you surprised, but dial it back. In other words, yeah. we all thought in the last couple of weeks when we saw some of the early tallies yep. coming in that yes. he was trending. So we're not surprised tonight. But five years ago, when he first retired, if I said to you he's in on the first ballot or his first year of eligibility, when Bonds and Clemens are tracking at, I can't remember what, they're like 20, 30 percent, they were way down there, right? Yeah. Aren't you surprised that in five years the voting has come along that much where he gets in? I am surprised. I am surprised that he got in on the first ballot. If you go back and say, okay, five years ago, did you think he would get in on the first ballot? I wouldn't have thought that based on the way it was and based on how adamant people were about penalizing the PED guys. And look, I know it's a little different with David. He got the PED pardon from Rob Manfred. But the reality is there was testing there. I know it wasn't supposed to come out. He failed the test. So... I sort of look at this and I feel like it's almost unfair to Bonds and Clemens in this regard that I think if they were on the ballot for another five years, the 15 years like before, I think they'd get in. And so when they started on the ballot, it was supposed to be 15 years. Then they changed the rules and rolled it back to 10. I think anybody who was on the ballot when it was 15 years should be grandfathered in to be on for the full 15 well, years. Well, but they still, now just to be clear, and I said it was the last year of eligibility for the Writers Association, there is this today, a Hall of Fame yeah. today committee yeah. that they yeah. meet in 2000 this year. I, I think they'll get in. It's not the same. Now, I, it's not the same. I'm not so sure get, about that. As long as you get in, you don't think they'll get in? Why not? I think, I think actually there's some players in the Hall of Fame that uh, I think are even saltier yeah. than some of the steroid really? guys, to be yeah, perfectly so honest with you. The oh, Veterans man. Committee, like Joe Morgan. Uh, yeah. did, didn't Joe yeah. Morgan send out a letter? Right. That said, you know, rest in peace. None of these guys, yes, the late right. Joe yeah. Morgan. Like, yeah. so, I mean, I mean that's, uh, but that's, and I'm not trying to make light of it, but I think some of those guys who, some of the hardcore guys, hardline guys are. Well, I'll tell I'll say this. Some of them uh, have moved on. Bonds and Clemens need to find their Tony La Russa to shepherd them in as yeah. Tony La Russa shepherd in Harold Baines. Well, well let's take yeah. a look at just their, I mean, while we're talking about this, let's take a look at the, the percentages of Bonds and Clemens. And they, you know, they jumped pretty much. And so maybe that just reflects why David Ortiz got in, but there's still. Uh, I don't know, Lou, yeah. what were you going to say there? No, I, I just think that, you know, there aren't, like, as far as that committee goes and players in the Hall of Fame that played in this era, that sit there and maybe have the feeling that I do, that's like, you don't know who was and who wasn't at the time. Right. So, you know what? I'm going to put you in and who was great. Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds are Hall of Famers. Absolutely. Just tell the story. It's a museum. Yes. Whatever. Just tell everybody yes, what, what, what the suspicions were. But we're not talking about people in the Hall of Fame that are in that era. I don't think Dennis Eckersley wants these guys in. You know, like that era, guys even before him don't want this mess in the Hall of Fame. So I'm not so sure that's a lot. Count, do you count uh, am amphetamines as performance-enhancing drugs? Do you count greenies as, as PEDs? I think they're a blessing sent from God. <laughs> <laughs> Some people feel they look at it and they would consider it. They would consider it, right? I mean, it is by definition. It absolutely yeah, is. Good. There's no question about okay. it. I mean, look, yeah. they, of course, previous era <laughs> players were, were, were doing amphetamines and other stuff, but... The home run record was yeah. 60. All of a sudden, steroids came into the game, and the home run record was 70. You know? So it's yeah. like, I think steroids have a little bit more of an impact than those other things. How about another local guy here that we were obviously curious about? Kurt Schilling told the writers last year, don't vote for me anymore. You're all a bunch of chumps. He, of course, didn't get in. He went down. Here was, here was his reaction tonight. Every year, the con uh, conversation revolves around who didn't get in, like all-star voting, who got cheated. I say every year, and especially this year, focus on who did get in. Ortiz deserved a first ballot induction. Craig, congratulations, my friend. You earned it. All right, Kurt Schilling, you know, just the, the story here is obvious. He would he would have gotten in this year if he had just kept his pie hole shut <laughs> last year. He was at 71%. Anyone who's gotten above 65% ultimately gets in. Right. So at 71, right. he only needed a few more votes. He would have gotten it 
if he just held his water, but he threw a temper tantrum last year after he didn't get in, and mm -hmm. so he's out, and it's just... It's a, it's kind of a tragic story, I guess. Well, I mean, to me, it sort of speaks to the flaws in the process, right? To me, Kurt Schilling should be in, and I've come around on this. Initially, I was a no, but I look at his career against Mike Mussina's career. You know, neither guy won a Cy Young there. Schilling finished second three times. You see what he did in the postseason. Here's the bottom line. You know, this should not be a, a morality test. It should be about your career and what the context of that career is against your contemporaries and the history of baseball. And if that's right. the case, then Bonds is in and Clemens is in and Schilling is in. See, I, I hate playing that game. Messina's in and Baines is in, whatever. No, I don't think Messina should be in. I don't think Baines should be in. And I look at Schilling and I have been a no. You know, I love this postseason. I mean, I right. want a guy in the mound? Absolutely. There's no question about it. But when you look at his career, what, what was the Hall of Fame years? And to me, it was really the last couple in Anaheim or Arizona, the last Arizona. three. Arizona. Right. And yeah. the one year in Boston. Like, you know, uh, the other years were very good. good. Well, he, he did have a great year in Philly very, one year. Very good. He never won a side, right? No, I but mean, so I mean, second but he's three finished, times. But he finished second at Randy Johnson. But it was also during that five-year period at the end. So, you know... Borderline. Should, like, they were, I, should they? I felt the that way before, but I changed. Yes, my mind. they should. Should they yes. eliminate the morals clause? Yes, yes. Or 100 percent. Or define it, or define it a little more clearly. Just get rid of it. Stop. Okay. They're using oh, that's it. That's fine. Yeah, I'm they're good. using it. I'm good with the big gun. Just vote on the career. Do you think? Speaking of morality, you think that's what what it comes down to when it, with these writers who don't want to let Bonds in and Clemens in? Is it more of like, hey, we feel guilty? It was a big story in baseball for, for a generation, and we missed it. No. We didn't report on it. And so now we're going to come back and overcorrect over something that, not that they were taking steroids too, but we were part of this whole empire where baseball had gone dirty. I, I just think a lot of those reporters want that thing out. I mean, it's muddied the water so much. You know, and while all this is going on, all these great players who accomplished so much and the league just turned a blind eye, oh, while all that's going on, we put Bud Selig in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just say quickly, I think, I think the fact that David was so gregarious and had such a great relationship with the media 100% helped him. Where you yeah. look at Bonds and Clemens, they were kind of churlish, didn't have as good a relationship. How about A-Rod? A-Rod has kind of reinvented himself. Yeah, but we don't forget. Uh, yeah, but uh, no, no, we don't But he forget. got busted twice and was pretty bad. And, and, and was out for a year, too. Yeah. And, and then sued the game. But the, numbers, but the numbers are incredible. He sued baseball and he sued the Yankees. Yeah. And he went after, what was her name, Selena? He's from also the, a Hall like, of Like, went fame. after her. It was bad. Was and say, he's still a Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hall of Fame third baseman, Hall of Fame yeah. shortstop, too. Uh, he had two Hall of Fame careers, if you really think about it.